video is sponsored by Webtoon, aka my excuse to talk about Omniscient Reader. When I first started Omniscient Reader, a lot of people told me that it was sort of like another show, or the main character was like this character, or it'll remind you of this story you read one time. And so I went into it thinking that it would just be sort of a basic comic about a basic character with a basic plotline, nothing that special. Boy was I wrong. Omniscient Reader is honestly just out of this world. It is fantastic, and I'm not, I don't say that lightly, right? This comic is something like I've never read before. It does remind me of a few other shows, it borrows a lot of tropes from other things, and the characters do remind me of certain other comics that I've read, but it borrows these elements and combines them in a way that is so unique that I honestly, it would be a disservice to say that this is copying another show, because it's really not, like not at all. Omniscient Reader is unique, it offers a brand new genre while also combining some different genres together, or honestly through combining these genres together, and it's just so much fun, so let's talk about it. Okay, so the first half of this review is going to be spoiler free. So if you've never read this comic, but you wanna find out more about why I like it and why you should read it, then stick around for the first half of the video. And then the last few minutes of the video will be spoiler talk. So talking about the latest chapters, what I think is gonna happen going into the future, and what I think about the current events, because oh boy, there's a lot to talk about. So right off the bat, one of the reasons why I really like Omniscient Reader is that the main character is not overpowered, right? The main character is somebody who is the only person who knows what's going on around them. There's an apocalypse and basically he's read this story and all the events that are happening around these characters are the exact same ones that happened in that story. So he's the only one who can sort of predict what's going to happen and so he has to guide him and his companions out of these scenarios. It's super unique and I just really love how it's implemented. He gains these skills that allow him to utilize the text and it's just so awesome but it doesn't make him like supreme overlord status or anything like that. He's able to trick his way through these events. So instead of just hacking and slashing through everything, he has to use his brain. So even if he knows what the next scenario or test is gonna be, he has to figure out a way to predict how he's going to make it through that scenario. It doesn't matter that he just knows, it's okay, with that knowledge, now what, right? Because there's a lot more at play, which is also really cool because he's immersing himself into this story and he is the different factor. Like he is the only thing that's changed, so every decision, every choice he makes, impacts the story. So basically, some characters were not supposed to be around or were not around when he read the story because now he's actually in the story impacting the events. There's some hints that maybe he's not the only one, but as far as we know, he's basically the main factor, the main changing factor in this story, so it's really cool. Now don't get me wrong, Dokja is a badass. Like, you know, he he levels up his stats and he he gets to kick some ass, so don't, don't worry about that. It's just that he's not like the most overpowered character who's just gonna hack his way through everything, which in my opinion is a huge plus. And talking about characters, we're in this apocalyptic world with gods and constellations and gifting coins and that there's a, so much going on, and I just love that other characters get to shine through it all. It's not just Dokja or the protagonist of the story, because they're two different people by the way. It's also Dokja's companions and the people they meet along their journeys and all these people combined together in this other party. It's a combination of all these different unique characters with different backgrounds and different futures, and you never know which ones are gonna die and survive, you know, and I have a lot of fears about that. And it's so awesome because each one of them, especially the main side characters, they each get awesome moments, you know, some more than others, but like, it's just so cool to see each of them coming through and saving the day at a certain time or using one of their new powers to do something epic. And I gotta say, not many comics like this do that. Like, I've, I've read comics that are done in a similar fashion, and it's always like the main character, and he kind of dominates the story. You know, they're the one that the focus is on, and everyone else kind of gets thrown in the shadows. And sometimes that's okay. Like, sometimes that can be done really well, but in Omniscient Reader, that's not the case. Like, everybody gets their own chance to shine, which is just awesome. The story is kind of dark and kind of gritty, but I also like that it's not afraid to be a little bit lighthearted sometimes. You crack some jokes, you get to see the characters, like, you know, their light side and their dark side. And because of that, the story story is never boring. It's always changing up on you from beginning to end. It does not disappoint. I was never bored while reading this. There was never a point where I was like, I can't wait to get through this. I was always invested on the edge of my seat. And it's not easy to do that, you know? And I gotta give props to this comic for doing that. And the art. I mean, come on. I cannot talk about Omniscient Reader without talking about the art. 
it is glorious. The art is just stunning. It's, it's honestly mind blowing. In every chapter, there's there's like 10 panels that are like wallpaper worthy. If not every single panel, every panel is detailed and beautifully drawn and colored. And because of the detail of the art, it just complements the world so much because the world is so good. The world is so good. There's so much happening. You know, it's a mixture between like modern, but also fantasy. And you've got again, you've got gods and monsters and the art just complements that so well to a point where it just raises the world and the and the the setting so high. I don't know man, Omniscient Reader is so much fun. I can't really talk about too much more story-wise, but again, it's apocalyptic setting. You've got gods, you've got people, they have to get through this and they're being tested. They have to level up their stats and stuff. It's just it's so much fun. And so, I if you haven't read it, you got to read it. But okay, let's talk about some spoilers. If you're not wanting to hear these spoilers, then skip to this timestamp and let's go. Okay, so I know earlier I said there's a lot to talk about, but honestly, I don't really have that many predictions. It's more just fears because I'm afraid that people are gonna die. Okay, my main fear is that someone's gonna die. It's gotta happen sometime, you know. For now, most of our main squad has been fine, but I have a feeling it's not gonna be that way for long. No spoilers in the comments, please, because I'm loving this comic but I have a feeling tragedy is gonna strike, you know, especially with like these prophets and stuff. Apparently other people possibly like Dokcha. Like that, that kind of boggles my mind because we're sort of under the impression that he's the only one, but there were other readers at the beginning. So I don't know, it's really interesting. And I really wonder if Jung Hyuk Yu and GA are going to join up with the main squad. Maybe not now, but later on. I'm wondering if they're gonna have like two different parties or maybe Jung Hyuk is gonna start to trust Dokcha. They're gonna start working together, you know? Cause there's also like Anna Croft, is that her name? Like the, the prophet or whatever. So there's just so much going on and I want everybody to be on the same page, getting along and fighting some bad guys. Like, come on. It's, it's hard because we're at a point in the story so far where they're in the middle of the capture the flag game. So it's hard for me to say exactly what's gonna happen going forward, but I wanna see, you know, more of the side characters. We've gotten a lot so far, but I wanna see what they can do. You know, I mean, Gil Young is like Thor now, so that's a thing. But also like Pildu Gong. Now Pildu is interesting because he was a bad guy who now is like defending the base and we get this impression that he he does have a past or a history like with his family maybe he's protecting them or maybe he lost them during this whole thing and he's somebody who i just thought was gonna be like oh bad guy number three you know but he's kind of stuck around and i want to see if he does continue to stick around maybe as like a minor character ally to dokja and his power is really cool and he's really useful so i want to see how he is utilized as well i'd actually love to hear what you guys think about like the modern stuff that's happening right now um but make sure in the comments if you do so like put spoiler at the top and then go down and type about it because i'm really curious but yeah those are my thoughts on omniscient reader you guys have to check out this comic if i'm going to recommend like one action comic to everybody watching period aside from tower of god it would probably be omniscient reader you know you know i love god high school as well so tower of god and god of high school i mean they're like they're on the golden shelf but omniscient reader is new it's fresh there's only like 50 chapters out at the time of me recording this and it is just amazing you guys have to read it um, if you want to start reading it, the link is down below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Again, a huge thank you to Webtoon for sponsoring this video. The Webtoon app has so much stuff that you can read for free. It's kind of not even fair. It's not even like, I don't even know how they get away with it. There's so much free stuff sorted by genre. You can see what's new. You can see what's still going, what's been completed. No matter what kind of genre you're interested in, it's on Webtoon. I recommend it. I mean, come on, everything is on there. So if you want to read Webtoon, especially Omniscient Reader, the link is down below. All right, guys, with that, I'll see you in my next Webtoon review. Take care.